And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. We had our first widespread 60s of the year today, and we've got more 60s in the forecast as we head through the next week or so. Let's take a look. Highs tomorrow, mainly in the lower half of the 60s, will cool down behind a cold front on Wednesday. We'll warm up into the 60s on Thursday, and then we'll cool down behind another cold front for Friday and Saturday before we really warm up as we head into early next week with some 70s on the way. Right now, we are still looking at mainly 60s away from Lake Michigan. It is 63 degrees in Watoma. We've got 65 in Mountain, and it's currently 61 in Appleton. In Shano, the temperature is 61 degrees after a high of 64. We have done a weather 180. Last Monday in Shano, we were digging out from 31 inches of snow. And today, lots of sunshine with mid-60s. Here's a look at the high-res satellite shot from earlier today going up against what we saw last Thursday. And you can see, of course, last Thursday, still a ton of snow on the ground here across most of Wisconsin. But that strong April sunshine and the warmer temperatures have really done their trick. Specifically here in Green Bay, we've gone from 20 inches down to just two inches left. And you can really see where the heaviest snow fell from the storm of the century here, just to the north and west of the Fox Valley from central Wisconsin up into southern Oconto County. Here's a look at the time lapse from earlier today showing the snow melting here next to NBC 26 with blue skies above high pressure. Our main weather maker today giving us just an absolutely beautiful weekend. As you take a look at storm shield radar, you can see we have quiet conditions across northeast Wisconsin. Even though there are a few clouds pushing in from the south, they're not doing anything. Now off to our north and west, we have our next weather maker. It's a cold front. Out ahead of that cold front today, it was feeling like spring with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Once again, we had highs in the lower half of the 60s, and it was our first 60 of the year. And that also means it was our latest first 60 since April 26, 1972. Yeah, it took a long time to get to 60 this year. <laughs> Last year, we hit 60 in February. Tomorrow we can expect some more 60s, mainly lower to mid 60s. Northeast winds will keep it cooler near the bay and lake as a cold front makes its way across northeast Wisconsin. As that cold front slides through the area, we'll have the chance for a couple of showers tomorrow evening, and then we can expect much cooler weather as we head into Wednesday with high temperatures dropping back down into mainly the 50s. All right, my forecast for tonight calls for fair skies with lows in the mid 30s. Tomorrow we can expect sun and clouds. We'll have that chance for a late day shower. High temperatures once again in the lower half of the 60s. Only 50s on Wednesday. That means some 40s near Lake Michigan. We warm up again ahead of another cold front on Thursday as it pushes through a chance for some rain showers. Behind that, cooler weather on Friday with lots of clouds and northeast winds. Saturday is looking pleasant with sun and clouds in mid 50s. Lower 60s return on Sunday. And right now it looks like we'll see a big warm up for Monday and Tuesday of next week with high temperatures getting well up into the 70s. You said possibly somebody might see 80 degrees out there. Yeah, that's what the computer forecast models are showing. Those typically warmer spots, Shano, Wapaka, Watoma, Iron Mountain, probably getting pretty close to 80 degrees. And what I liked about the seven day, not a 32 degree day in sight. For no, long. no. It's nice. Hopefully we're done with that, but Waving usually it's goodbye. Mother's Day weekend. You have to really think about it as far as growing. All right, we'll be watching out. <laughs> All, All right. right, Cameron, thank you. Up next year, it is always good to be ready for the worst case scenario. So emergency officials stop by an elementary school to teach students the importance of being ready. And making Brown County even greener. The Packers help bring in hundreds of new trees to plant throughout the county. Getting kids ready for the worst case scenario. Oh,